my channel it's your girl Michaela Lynn <sighs> and if you're new here welcome to my channel if you're a returning subscriber y'all already know the deal welcome back to my channel thank you so much both of y'all for clicking on my video today so I'm actually on my way to school right now because I have a health assessment um, class today so it is 11:33. my class started at 12 10 I'm kind of behind schedule I wanted to leave the house by 11 20 I'm gonna hold y'all I wanted to leave the house by like 11 20 but it is what it is I want to show y'all of course I have to have my badge on but I have it covered because confidential you already know the deal um, but I got this badge holder badge reel um, I'm gonna put her name on the screen it's super super cute it's a black nurse loading super cute very affordable and it only took her a week I ordered it like at the beginning of the year and that following weekend I had it so great turnaround yeah I just wanted to go ahead and support the small business um, and I wanted to go ahead and put it on the screen so y'all can you know support her as well because I know a lot of people gonna ask me but yes yeah, so I'm gonna do a week in the life for y'all I didn't get to do one last week because this is my first week going to health assessment because of Martin Luther King holiday last Monday so this is our first time meeting in person this is my first class on campus um I know it's gonna start feeling like I'm a nursing student and then I have lab for health assessment on Thursday and I get to wear my scrubs but yeah so I'm about to head on over to campus my class is from 12 10 to 2 55 and then I'm gonna try to head home and get some work done because I have some stuff due tonight um yes yeah, so I just want to come on here and check in with y'all let y'all know I am back with another vlog another weekend of life oh and one more thing y'all we hit 10k we hit 10k y'all so now we're above 10k I thank y'all so much it's like my channel is very like really 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 growing and I'm just so appreciative so grateful for everybody that's supporting y'all know the real ones that's supporting but yeah I'm about to go ahead and head to campus so I don't be late I'll catch y'all later on probably after class okay y'all so it is actually later in the day it is 5 15 i just like sat down and on my bed and watch a few like youtube videos um just for a little bit for like an hour just so i can decompress and everything because that lecture was like it wasn't we didn't go over a lot um we just went over like the introduction and stuff like that to health assessment but the time sitting there and being there for going on two and a half hours it got to me because i'm used to being at home <laughs> on my computer on zoom so i have told myself for this semester um by seven o'clock i want to shut everything off shut everything down all that because if i don't know about then I don't know about things, so I need to go to the next day. So I won't overwork myself. So I told myself, up until 7 o'clock, <laughs> do all the work. If you can get to it, put it to the next day. So today, since it's already 5.16, I'm going to go ahead and do some homework that is due tonight. Um, I always do my modules a day or two before. Um, but yesterday, since yesterday was Sunday, I don't actually do any work, school work on Sundays unless it's an exam coming up. So I feel like today is fine because this is what we're going over tomorrow uh, for patho form. So I'm about to do this module, take some notes. And then if I don't understand some stuff, I'm going to go ahead and um, use my pharmacology textbook. But I do want to get into reading just a little bit for pharmacology so that if something come up on the exam that I may not know that she didn't mention on the PowerPoint, I always have the reference of going back to my book and like knowing the answer and stuff like that. But I'm not going to be doing like in-depth reading for Pathofarm. I'm doing, I'm going to be doing in-depth reading for health assessment. She already said that today. She said, you got to read. That's the only way you want to understand this stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. And that's really all I have left on my to-do list for today. So I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and do module three and do the quiz that go with that. So I'm about to do this for the rest of the day. Um, whenever I finish, I'm going to just chill.
the next day. Happy Tuesday. So I just got out of the class. Y'all see me do my devotion already. Um, it was a good devotion today. I've been getting a lot of questions on what devotional I have been using uh, since the beginning of the year. And it is this one right here. I can link it down below. Um, it is from Amazon very affordable um you can also because someone did uh dm me and said that they found it i think at barnes and noble so you can find it there um or probably any store i know jesus calling devotional is a lot of places devotion today was basically just talking about just allowing god to direct your path allow him to be in control and just like plan out your life just you know calm down go in silence just be in silence in a quiet place and let god just hold your hand and walk that path with you and just let him be in control so that was something that spoke to me because i know sometimes i like to be in control of everything i like to plan out different stuff and if it don't go as planned i tend to you know get upset i do <laughs> but i'm working on that especially at the new of the year so like i said i just got out of class um it is 11:06 right now class was good we were just talking about like kidney function chronic um kidney disease i like the lower uci the upper uci even though we like went over that last semester it's more talking about the like the obstruction part of it um so she did remind us today that she already put the blueprint online so i need to start working on that because our first exam is actually nothing two weeks i think it's yeah the fourth week you win week two so i need to start on that so i can start studying because as y'all know i like to start studying ahead of time and now that i'm taking two nursing classes on top of a lab it's going to be more hectic i feel like but we got this we got this so um actually today for my to-do list um this is my to-do list for the week <laughs> But today, um, I need to go ahead and fill out my FAFSA. I need to listen to my philosophy lectures because uh, this semester I still have two non-nursing classes that I have to take. But this is my last semester taking non-nursing classes. So I have to take philosophy, ethics, um, and then also another theology. For my short essay that is going to be over the um, lectures that he has provided for us. So I need to finish my notes for my health assessment. I finished reading but I need to go in and make some more notes um, because I would just like highlight it in the book and like write in the book but I think I need to go back and um, make actual physical notes so that I can you know have that as well. But um, I might do that tomorrow. And then I have a assignment due for Path of Form tomorrow. I have my friend's birthday dinner tomorrow. It's gonna work out tomorrow uh and then on thursday i have my pathoform class in the morning and then i have my uh, health assessment lab um at 12 so it's like i'm i'm gonna be going um and then friday i need to upload this vlog that y'all watching right now i need to do a dosage calculation quiz i need to do a journal entry for theology I need to work out so it's like a lot of stuff i have to do this week um but i don't try to you know do everything in one day that's a tip make you a weekly to-do list and like make it like check boxes and like assign different like assignments or things that you have to do assign that to different days and don't like put a whole bunch of stuff on one day because be realistic that's what I'm saying. Be realistic. You can't get to everything. You like be realistic. So that's what I have been doing. Um, but I do need to start editing this vlog right now. So I think I'm about to do that for a little bit before I dive into my other assignments. Um, just to make it my break a little bit. So yeah, I think I'm about to edit tomorrow, uh, yesterday's um footage and then a little bit of today's footage. But yeah, so I want to come on here and just say happy Tuesday. I hope y'all are enjoying this vlog so far. So let's get right into this work. It's 11.48. It's 11.48 and I'm already finished with Monday's footage. I'm going to try to go ahead and do a little bit of today's footage, but it's not that much yet. So I might just wait until this evening. But yeah, so I got six minutes so far. <laughs> Look at me, y'all. 
look at me studying <laughs> but yeah let me go ahead and probably get some lunch now and then come back and start listening to these lectures hey you guys happy wednesday it is the next day and i'm actually about to head to the gym this morning i am doing upper body today so i'm gonna try to get a snippet of my exercises for y'all because i know some people said they want it included in the vlog and some people said that they want it separate so i'm gonna do a snippet of my workout today in today's vlog um well in this portion of today's vlog and so when i come back home i actually need to get some work done um on today's to-do list i have to do module four for pathopharmacology i need to actually read the book too to go with that i have the pathoform tutorials today at five five to seven o'clock and then i have to print out some lab papers for tomorrow because tomorrow is my first day of the health assessment lab which i'm super excited about and then before tomorrow i want to just go ahead and review just a little bit of stuff so i won't be like just completely blank because i read the chapters that we were assigned this past weekend so i want to just review everything to make sure everything is like fresh on my brain and then i have my friend birthday dinner tonight and then i need to edit this vlog so yeah we got a lot of stuff to do today but we're gonna get it done gym it is 2 56 and i'm about to go ahead and start on this module for pathopharmacology and then right before i have I look at my hair right before i get on for tutorials which is on zoom at five o'clock um yeah five o'clock i'm gonna um go ahead and do a little review like go through the powerpoints or whatever um when it comes to health assessment and then i'll be done for the rest of the day um yeah and then of course i have my friend dinner tonight about to get this work done so we can go have fun tonight <laughs> Okay, so I get this question a lot of how I basically download the PowerPoints to my iPad so that I can take notes during class. What I normally do is just download the PowerPoint and then I will click command p if you want like the lines on the side like that um you're able to do it like that but if you want like more lines you get to choose so it's like different but i personally either do the lines on the side i do three a lot uh three slides per page um but recently i have just been put in the slide option um because i can i feel like i can write more on there and it's not all just like jibber jabber okay so when it comes to actually saving it you have different options so you can save it as a pdf um which i normally do or you can like send it through mail send it through messages i have tried the pdf form and um through messages so it's not too much on my computer but today i'll just do save as pdf and then i can just download it to myself so i go there and then i come over here and then it'll be right here at the bottom so what i'll do is just right click then i will press share and then airdrop so once i do that then i will go ahead and press my ipad if it go press yeah i press my ipad and then here it goes right here so then i have the option of whether i wanted to go to good notes if i wanted to save it to my files but since i want to go ahead and have it go to good notes i'll just press good notes it'll open up my battery about to die but it'll open up and then it'll ask me 
um like what um where i want it to go so i'm gonna just import it as a new document and then of course i have my folders for different classes so this is for patho form i'll press that and i'll just put it under powerpoints and then press import to powerpoints and there we go so when it comes to actually um using my ipad i used the app called good notes i did have a problem one time but it was my fault because i needed some more storage on my ipad but i use i personally use good notes i love it it keeps everything i get to make my folders like i just saw i get to make my folders of um the different classes i'm taking and then like within those folders i can make more folders and more folders so that each class can be organized and then within those classes i can have like powerpoints modules notes chapter notes stuff like that so i know a lot of people ask me about that too so i use good notes i love it it was yeah i think it was free yeah it was free so um it's called the good notes 5 is in the app store i'm not sure if it's compatible with any android um like um tablets so i'm not sure about that but i know for ipads yes and also i also get questions about which ipad i have i have the ipad 10.2 inch um it is not the newest ipad but it still get the work done so yeah i just want to come on here and make sure i answer y'all questions because i want everybody to hear it instead of just me putting in the comments i know a lot of people ask those repetitive questions which i'm fine with because i want to be a help to everybody so i'm about to go ahead and do this module as well as take notes on my ipad so i can be ready for tomorrow's class so y'all have to take a slight little break my face is just it's trying to glow but got that little pimples in there but anyways i take a little break because i have to come meet uh one of my uh, friends she y'all y'all see her but she's such an amazing person uh she's in a cohort above me so she's helping me out like when it comes to the different classes because she took all the classes so she's helping me out like i can go to her for anything so she's i'm actually meeting her to get a watch because we have to have a secondhand watch instead of our apple watches for tomorrow slab and then also she's giving me a review book so yeah um her i'm gonna show her because she also has a youtube so y'all need to make sure y'all support that's what i'm going right now then i'm gonna hurry up and head home so i can make it for this uh tutor session that starts at five and hopefully i'll make it because it's definitely traffic but... oh my girl kayla hey, she got a youtube so go ahead and give yes, all that uh kayla gambrell yeah you can just put it in the, list. the real one the real one <laughs> period so I know y'all can't see me hold on let me turn the light on for y'all because I know y'all can't see me so I'm actually heading there now got me some all black on tonight um I wasn't able to put no lashes on because y'all I blinked and my whole lash fell off so we're just gonna be a bare face tonight but I'm heading there now and I'm running a little late but we're gonna get there Yes, ma'am. Big 23. Big 23. The birthday girl, and then my other girl. The baddies, period. She got a hand in my face. <laughs> period. <laughs> Hey y'all, 
happy Thursday. I'm actually heading to lab right now. Um, I'm running a little late because I had to get gas like my, huh, y'all. But I'm headed to lab right now. I'll catch y'all later on after lab and tell y'all how everything went. Okay, y'all, so I'm done with lab. It was amazing. Like, it was so good and so fun to actually start doing hands-on things. Even though we didn't do the physical assessment today, we went over, like, the interview process of, like, gathering and getting the patient's health history. So... My friend, I had to be the nurse. She had to be the patient. And I had to come up with questions of how to exit. Uh, we did the, like the HPI, so like the location. So why you came in today? Um, where is it hurting? Like where it started? When did it start? Like um, the different, just like different things that we had to ask and like come up with our own uh, type of way that we want to ask the questions as a nurse because in so many ways you can ask it and it was like so fun because we was able to get into that role so you know me i'm very dramatic like i know how to snap in and like be a little actress so i came like i knocked on the door hello miss such and such and such i'm a kayla i'll be a student nurse today like i'm like in the whole role play and it was so fun because i had my little tablet writing everything out asking my my lab instructor uh lab instructor questions and like she's super cool because she literally was a nursing student so she know and she's an er nurse so that's even better like she know a lot of stuff and she's still a nurse to this day so she know a lot of stuff i i even saw my professor today we was talking laughing like it was just so good and this is what i was talking about last semester i felt like i wasn't like i, I knew i was in nursing school but it felt like I needed more because I was behind Zoom all the time. But now that I'm actually able to do stuff, it's like everything is starting to come together. Even though we didn't go over a lot today, but what we read in the textbook is now coming into play because I actually can, you know, do it. So uh, we're gonna be doing that for the next two weeks. So well, this this lab day and then next week we're gonna practice it more. And then after that, that's when we get into vital signs and stuff like that. So it was super super fun. Um, my lab, like my lab uh, group, super, super fun. I'm gonna pop a picture on here. We did a boomerang. My friend asked for us to do a boomerang. Everybody was cool and down to do it. So like we in this together and it was like, y'all gonna become family. Cause this is really our first time seeing like everybody together. So, I mean, it was just 10 of us in that lab group. But it was like super, super fun and, you know, getting to meet each other. So I'm super excited that today went well. This is what I needed. <laughs> this is really what I needed. Um, So what I'm about to do now is go give me something to eat. Probably Chick-fil-A. I don't know. Give me something to eat because it is actually 307. Um, Give me something to eat. And then I also need to go home and do a little something. So I might go home and take some more notes for health assessment and like, um put some pictures on my notes so that i can be able to remember it and then i also need to well i already have my blueprint um done for unit one but i want to probably add some more you know information on there and i also need to start my drug charts for pathoform um yeah, i need to do that and then i also need to finish editing this video because i have split it up some and i'm like i'm ahead with my editing as well so yeah y'all as y'all can see i'm extremely happy cheeks red i'm just happy y'all i'm just extremely happy um but i just wanted to come back on here and just tell y'all how my lab day went oh so, this week went very well i hope y'all enjoyed like the part of me coming to class and you know all of that um the end of this vlog so let me head home and get some food.